Well, San Diego's Planning Commission voted unanimously to advance to pro-housing policies to the City Council. It's all part of an effort to make housing more available to people of all incomes across America's finest city. Kasha Gogorczyk is live for us outside City Hall with more on that vote and what was left out. Kasha. Good evening, Kathleen. Yeah, the commission notably did not include their support for Senate Bill 10 in the city's housing action plan at this time. Now, Senate Bill 10 was what the majority of public speakers came today to speak both for and against. Please remove SB 10. The road to hell is paved with good intentions. The rent and the price of homes send a message that I'm not really wanted here. Um, SB 10 is a policy that we desperately need. Strong feelings towards Senate Bill 10 at Thursday's Planning Commission meeting. The commission was set to consider San Diego Mayor Todd Gloria's housing action plan and consider the role of SB 10, which would make it easier for cities to zone for smaller, low-cost developments of up to 10 units per parcel. It is highly unlikely that the overdevelopment resulting from SB 10 will result in more affordable housing, but rather just increase the profits of developers. The Planning Commission voted unanimously to advance 10 pro-housing policies encouraging the construction of new homes. We are in gridlock. We can't even get people with Section 8 vouchers housed anymore because of the cost of rental. I urge you, urge you to pass SB 10 in its maximum and fullest. While some of the policies include incentives to house seniors, students, and those at risk of homelessness, the commission chose to withhold support for SB 10 at this time. Instead, the commission recommended the city hold workshops to allow for more public input on how to address the gap of missing middle-income homes. Citizens of San Diego have been very vocal in telling you that they do not want their single-family residential neighborhoods destroyed by high-density apartments being dropped haphazardly into established neighborhoods. One of the reasons for zoning is to create order. Now, these housing action plan policies will now move forward to the Land Use and Housing Commission. That will take place on September 21st before moving forward for full city council consideration. Now, in the meantime, any workshops diving into SB 10 are yet to be scheduled. Reporting live downtown, Kasia Gregorczyk, Fox 5 News.